Okay, I think I'm live. I am live. So let's recap what we did today in today's lesson. So um, we went to page 220. And what we want to do is sketch polynomial graphs, okay? So what I'm going to do is read the directions and think about it. Now, it's a quartic. So since it's a quartic, I know that some quartics look something like this. They look something like the W, okay? And they could, the W could be in lots of different places, lots of different shapes, okay? Since it's quartic also, we know it's degree 4. And we must have four roots. So some roots are going to be real, and some roots are going to be imaginary. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm recording. Um, five minutes. Five minutes, okay? Yeah. So distinct, real distinct, what they're really saying is real roots. And that's real roots, the same thing as where it's got to cross the x axis, okay? That's kind of like when it says real distinct, real rule roots are where it crosses the x-axis. We know there's got to be four roots always, so I could have four real places that it crosses the x-axis. Well, how about here, 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 and here? And so my graph could look something like that, okay? It's got one, two, three, four roots, and they're distinct because they all go through the x-axis, okay? All right, so far so good. Now, one root, one root, and multiplicity, which means it can go through it many times. So it could go through the same point many times. Since we only have one, and there has to be four roots, it's going to go through the same spot four times. Okay, so watch. This point right here. We're going to go through this point four times. We're going to go through it, go up, down, through it, up, down, up again. Okay, I'll do it again. We go through it once, up two, down three, and then up again. So it's going through this one point. Like, you know, really minusculely, it's a point's very, very small. In fact, it's infinitesimally small, but it goes through it four times. So it goes down, back up, down, and then back up, okay? This one's got one real root, and then two of these are going to have a multiplicity of two. Okay, so let's see how that works. Okay, so I'm going to have one real root. And I'm going to have a, it's going to go through this one three times. Let's go through it three times because I have to have four roots, right? So I'm going to go through this one easy, right? Just go through it. That's my real distinct root. But it's going to go through this one. It goes up through it, back down, and back up through it again, okay? Anytime you got a triple root like that, it has a little bend to it, okay? We'll look at that more later. Okay, again, four roots. So two of them are here. Okay, one real, multiplicity with two. And then we'd have to have two other real roots to make a total of four. So let's see, I could have a one, two roots here. And then I'll make this one happen more than once. So I have to make that one happen twice. So it's going to go through this root, through this root. And now when it goes to this one, it goes through it and then it goes back up, okay? So that's a multiplicity of two. Okay, two real, okay, but multiplicity. So I get a four roots. I still have to have four roots. So it's going to have to go through these two points twice. So it's going to go through this one twice and this one twice. So it's going to come through. It goes through it, back up. It goes through, it goes back through it again, back up. So it goes through it twice like that, okay? Now, it's going to have no real roots. So it's going to have four imaginary. Because remember, it's got to have four roots. So the imaginary are like these squiggles. So watch. I'm going to draw it, and I'll show you what's going on, okay? So if I could have lowered it down, it might have had a root here. It might have had a root here. It might have had a root here. And it might have had a root here, but it got pulled up. So these are my four imaginary. We're going to talk about those more another day. Okay, now, let's look at this one. Two reels. Okay, so i got two reels. I'll go one two reels. There's my two reels. And then I've got, again, four roots. So I'm going to have two imaginary, okay? So it's going to have a squiggle like this for the two imaginary. And then it's going to have two reels. So it's going to go through this one. There's one, two. There's my two reels. And then it's going to do a little squiggle like this. Because my imaginary kind of there and there. Kind of like. If I would slid, slid this down, I'd have those two, okay? 
Okay, remember there's four roots. So if I'm gonna have one real, it's gotta have a duplicity of two. So that's where it's the touch and go. So I'm gonna have one here, but it's gonna hit it twice. I'm gonna hit this point twice. So it's gonna go through and hit that same point twice, goes through it, back up, and then I gotta have a squiggle for my two imaginary like that. Those two would be my imaginary, okay? So that's what we had for homework. I had the kids do the other page, but with a quintic. Again, give it a try. If this is confusing to you, I'll go over it again in class. Okay, that's all I have. I will see you all on Monday.